Hey sabis, this is Anup and you are watching Anime Kisevi. Welcome back to the new episode of Symbols of Indian State, aka Kejriwal episode. Uh, oops, it's Delhi episode. But this is a new episode. Odd one or even one? Yeah, I got it. Uh, it's seventh episode. Despite of confusion regarding Delhi is a state or union territory, it always known as Delhi Dilwalon ki. Delhi is a city where time travels is feasible. Step abroad, your time machine, the sleek and efficient metro, and you can go from old Delhi where the labors all sacks of spices and jewelry wet. Gold as dusty scales to modern New Delhi with its corner area of parliament building and ponche of high tea. So don't be put off. Delhi is a city that has been repeatedly ravaged and reborn with vestiges of lost empire is almost every neighborhood. There's so much to experience here. It's like a country in itself. So let's get started with Tilsay. The state animal of Delhi is Nilgai, which is predominantly found in Indian subcontinent. The Nilgai is categorized as least concerned in IUCN. The Nilgai has been associated with Indian culture since Vedic period, as Hindu revise the Nilgai as sacred and associate with the cow, the mother animal of Hinduism, through its name and loosely similar physical features. They are haunted in Mughal era and dip as and are depicted in numerous miniatures. Nilgai has been considered as a pest in several Indian states as they ravage the crops field and consume. And cause considerable damage. In Bihar, authority have classified the Nilgai as vermin. Let's come to the state bird, which is the house sparrow. Aajkal kam hi dikha like jack sparrow. Thanks to the humanity, population has been declared in many parts of the world. In some urban areas, the population have fallen by 99%. It is the small bird strongly associated with the human habitants and can live in urban and rural setting. Though found in widely varied habitants and climates, but it typically avoids extensive woodland, grassland, and desert away from human development. They feed. Mostly on seeds of grain and weeds, but it is an opportunistic eater and commonly eat insect and many other foods. In 2012, Delhi adopted the house sparrow as a state bird, and Bihar same on April 2013 and celebrates March 20 as Sparrow Day every year. Sparrow were included in IUCN Red List of Threatened Species in UK, and since 2010, March 20 has been adopted as the World Sparrow Day. But Bihar's this sparrow man from Rothas have 8,000 wing friends. Delhi state flower is Alpha. Alpha tonic, जो alpha alpha से बनता है. Actually, I mean alpha alpha ही उनका state flower है. It seems to have originated in South Central Asia and was first cultivated in ancient Iran and is one of the highly produced crop worldwide. In ancient India, Ayurvedic text prescribed the use of alpha alpha seed and sprout for improving the blood cell production and its leaves and stems as a good resource of protein and minerals. Alpha alpha is rich in chlorophyll, protein, calcium, and other minerals and Various vitamins. Gulmohar tree, which is endemic to the Madagascar dry deciduous forest, but has been introduced into the tropical and subtropical regions worldwide, and is the state tree of Delhi. In the wild, it is endangered, but it is widely cultivated elsewhere. In Indian state of Kerala, Gulmohar is called as Kal Vairavu, which means the flower of cavalry. There is a popular belief from the Saint Thomas Christians of Kerala that when Jesus was crucified, there was a small Gulmohar tree nearby this cross. It is believed that the blood of Jesus Christ was spread. Over the flower for the tree, and this is how the flower of Gulmohar got such red color. This is also known as Vaga in many various part of the Kerala. Last not the least, the state seal. The seal of Delhi is the official logo of the government of Indian state of Delhi. It has the Indian emblem and written government of national capital territory of Delhi at the bottom. That's it for now. This is Anup signing off. See you in next video. And of course, thank you for watching. Stay tuned. Goa is coming up next.